I'm Dr. Lee Tesler. I'm a neurosurgeon at Neurological Surgery PC who specializes in the treatment of both malignant and benign brain tumors, specifically utilizing minimally invasive techniques to take care of these. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about today was a new instrument called the carbon dioxide laser. The carbon dioxide laser in and of itself isn't new. It's been around in neurosurgery for about 30 years now. However, previous versions of the carbon dioxide laser have been very bulky and difficult to use during surgery. One of the nice things about the new version of the carbon dioxide laser is that it's handheld, almost smaller than a pencil, and can be used in very small spaces within the brain. What the laser does is it cuts in a very precise line and limits damage to any surrounding tissue. It's both cutting and coagulating at the same time. So in other words, we can remove a piece of tissue, or in this case, a piece of the brain, with very minimal damage to any surrounding structures. One of the unique things that the carbon dioxide laser does for us is lowers the risk of surgery. And by lowering the risk of surgery, tumors that were deemed inoperable in the past can now become operable. The thing that I like to use the carbon dioxide laser for most are actually benign tumors. Benign brain tumors are like real estate. It's all about location. What the carbon dioxide laser does for us is allow us a very small instrument in very tight spaces to take these tumors off of vital neural elements and improve things such as vision, hearing, and balance. Some of the most common benign brain tumors that I use this laser to treat are meningiomas and acoustic neuromas. Meningiomas are benign tumors that grow from the covering of the brain. When they arise deep within the brain, an area that we call the skull base, they can be very difficult to get to, and specifically the blood supply of these tumors can be very difficult to get to. One of the things that the carbon dioxide laser allows us to do is get to this blood supply safer and by eliminating damage to certain other nerves and vital structures around these areas. Acoustic neuromas are growths of one of the nerves near the inner ear canal. This can affect hearing, facial sensation and or facial movement, and your balance. Another thing that the carbon dioxide laser is good for is helping to remove these tumors from those nerves without damaging the nerves themselves. Some of the other things that we're doing are intraoperative brain mapping, functional MRI, and stereotactic fusion technology. Ultimately, this will allow for shorter surgeries, decreased hospital length of stay, and better outcomes for patients.